Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So, picked myself up one of these scanners and I thought I'd do an unboxing and show you it working. Uh, I bought this one actually from eBay, but it was brand new, unopened. Got it for a good deal, I think. On Amazon, it's around about £300, £299, £280, something like that, if you're lucky. I got this for uh, £200, dead, £200. Um, the box is a little bit tatty, but it, it was unopened. There was, uh, the seal was in place, the seal on here was in place, but there was like a, like a cut along here, but it hadn't been opened. Uh, so I took a chance anyway, it was, it was new and the, the, the year and everything is like, I think it was last year or something, 2022, it's on there somewhere I've seen it. But anyway, this is the box, uh, there's just a bit of graphics on there, there's different versions, you can buy it with the battery, without the battery, I decided to buy it without the battery and just use uh, uh, AA's, probably 1.5 volt, I've got like some of these ones, uh, they've got electronics inside the battery and uh, the 1.5 volts and I used to use them for my VR stuff. It says they're for 1.5s alkaline, but I'll try these other ones out and I'll probably buy uh, one of these batteries as well uh, for drills and things. I think they're about £25 pounds, uh, you can pay them for. So let's get everything out of the box. So there's that. I'm actually glad I got this one because there's a few different ones where it comes in a plastic box and things and this pouch is really handy because you can tuck all your bits and bobs in there I mean you could carry like other things to do with the same type of job maybe a laser scanner that type of thing in there I'll get everything out show you what's in the box uh, there's nothing else in the box there so I can get rid of that there's a little bit of paperwork do's and don'ts it's pretty straightforward to be honest uh, there's that this one's all in uh, multi languages, not even going to read that this one's in Russian I think oh no this is the uh, certificate, there you go uh, the 9th of t uh, 2022 so it's less than a year old so it's a new product it hasn't been sat on the shelf for like uh, 5 years or something so I take it that the new models must have firmware and things. This is the manual, every language on the planet I think. And then there's the English one there. I haven't, I've had a quick look. But really it doesn't... If you, if you want to like universal mode, that one. Concrete mode, uh, looking for rebar and then drywall. I just leave it on the, the, the one which checks all of them that a little strap if you want to carry that bosh I won't use that possibly and then there's this so inside it did come with four alkaline batteries which are in because I've actually opened it to try it out I wanted to make sure it was working first um, so there's the unit just got it down the bag's got velcro on nice soft inside I really like this bag just somewhere to keep it, you've got your ID in there if you were on site or something, whatever you want to carry in there, I don't know. Business cards or something. But uh, this is for home use, so I'm not uh, doing it for work. It's just, I do things around the house, DIY stuff, and I thought, I've got a another version of this, and I'll go and get that in a second. Uh, and I just couldn't trust it. It was like, beep, 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 and then, it wasn't beeping and I was like what the hell's going on here so I just couldn't trust it really I mean you want to, every time you go past you want to detect something there's something there I'm not too fussed about it picking up what it is but can I, can I drill there? no there's something there could be rebar it could be a bit of conduit it could be plastic, it could be steel, it could be wire either way I can't drill there uh, but I understand uh, it's nice if I can say there's electrical wire there, there's a water pipe, that type of thing. So that's what it looks like. 
batteries a little bit awkward to put in uh, just like that make sure you get the right way around it's a bit awkward to fit in because they're not really designed for this this is more like a put them in that way actually so it's more like an afterthought but it did work put them in like that oh, all around and on the cap it actually tells you So you can just, before you clip it in, just have a little look and go positive, positive, yes. But what I'll do is I'm going to buy one of them uh, lithium ion batteries type of thing. On the back, that's where the obviously centre is, so you've got marks here, the top. So you just want to get a pencil and then intersect it to get the centre. These are just designed to slide along. The other one I've got, which I'll show you, it's got Velcro on and it keeps catching on little things on the plasterboard and things where this should just slide over pretty easy yeah be nice if that was like a teflon thing which i suppose you could put on you can buy teflon tape you could put a little bit of teflon on and it'll be like even easier so you don't scratch anything it's got rubber like a rubber skin all the way around here to there and then rubber on this part here that's what it looks like, some specs on the back, again it says the 9th 2022 so it conforms to the same one so I know I'm not being mipped off it's never been opened, it was brand new, I pulled the film off uh, and then you've got some uh, buttons, so again we've got drywall brick, which this, my house is a brick house so I'm going to be using that the loft, uh, I put the loft in and it's all, it's all drywall stuff uh, with the joists, so if I'm doing looking for stuff in there, you've got a, a audible beeper. You can turn the beeper on and off, and then you on and off button. So we'll turn it on. I'll just show you the first, and then we're going to try and try it out. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a scientific thing. I mean, I roughly know where things are in the house because most of the wiring I put in. But uh, some things are. Do you know like if I'm if I'm just like sort of looking, I can't remember what I put down under that floorboard there, what's underneath the floorboards in the loft maybe, then I might want to just scan around a bit and say, well, at least there's nothing there. Like recently I put a loft hatch in, like another cover. So the loft hatch comes up from the bottom, but I've got a one which closes from the top so I can close it and walk on top of it. Because that's my office and uh well not my office, uh, my uh man cave. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so I close that and then I can, if I do, I'm not going to fall down the hatch or something like that. Anyway, so we turned on. We get a nice screen up here. And then straight away you've got, I mean, you can see that on screen. You've got that searching, left and right, a battery indicator and then the vol uh, volume or the beeper on and off. So you can turn the beeper on and off. And then do it like that. If I turn it like that, you should have to see something behind. And it's quite, it's, it's, I don't know, that's about, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, so it works pretty good that was on the wall i'll leave it on the wall one and then obviously there's the circles uh the further the further it is i don't want to do it here the, the closer it is the further away if i move my finger away now and then there's a little cross and an arrow so i need to go to the uh, right and then watch the cross in the center Yeah, it's not it's not working this time because it needs to be on the surface really but yeah that will actually go to a little cross and another little square box maybe it'll work like that i don't know it's because there's nothing behind see so i really need something behind i'm just showing you this to see yeah it's 
not going to show me the sender. Come on. No. No. So we've tried on the wall. But I just want to show you the, the controls. You've also got a green light and orange and red. When it goes to uh, green, obviously it's the radar is just going out of use. It's not designed for that. Uh, so we'll turn it off now. And then what I'll do is, uh, I'll go and get a handheld camera and we'll shoot off, do some walls and things. So I'll back shortly. Okay, 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 right guys, so we'll turn it on and we'll just have one round the house and see if we can locate some things. So you can see it's turned on there. I'm using the Andel phone for this because it's a little busy. We'll start off straight away here. Uh, obviously some cables there, Sh see what we can find here. So as we put it, put it against the wall, wait a second, you see it's scanning. Oh, now the walls are all mucky because I've been doing the boiler. Uh, it should go to green and then we can see the battery level and we're just going to move it across slowly. See if it picks up anything. I'm trying to keep it in short. Oh. Now see that where it it's it, there's definitely something there. The, the other one I've got I'll do it again and it won't beep and I'm like what the hell well this is every single time so that's telling me there's a live wire there now I don't know there's a live wire but there is because <laughs> the wire is going up to the ceiling along the joists and back to the consumer unit now if you notice the screen ugh, and those are marks on the wall where I've been from the wire wall I need to go to the left and then the little box see the little square that's the dead center of the cable running down uh, and it should it should be going up as well to the top so it'll go up and up and up so that's working fantastic very really good uh, let's have a quick look and just see if we can find other things in the conservatory there's a, a, a socket just behind there which i can't move so i've got one hand but Again, it might pick up the wire on the other side as well. I'm not really sure, but we've got the green. I'm going to slide it. There's the live wire. Now, I know for a fact this is the light. So you should have to go up and follow that either side and so on. Yeah. Yeah, it goes, it goes right up. Whew. So, so far. I think it's absolutely great. Now, let's have a look here. So there's there's no wires at all going down there. But on the other side, we've got the kitchen. So this is where you might get like over penetration. You might be picking up wires on the other side. It's only a single skin wall. Uh, I don't know. It might be I'm not sure. That's a, it's a part. I think it's a part more. Uh, so we're just going to wait a second. There you go, there's your green light. One thing I've noticed as well, uh, if you move it off the wall, it, it's going to give you false reading. So make sure it's like on the wall. And you don't be touching the wall because that's when it detects uh, whether it's using a magnetic field, I don't know. Uh, but just be wary of that. So it's going to slide it along. Let's see if we can pick up anything. So if I was going to put something up here, like a picture frame or something on. So I'd be quite happy with all that. Something there. And see it? Look at the rings. That's really deep there. So it's probably... Something there on the other side. Yeah, so that's probably the electrical wire or something, maybe uh, when I put the kitchen, I think I put some brackets to hold the shelves up uh, and, the, and the tabletop uh, in the corner. So that's, I could be picking them up. Yeah. Anyway, that's that working. You could uh, obviously find joists with, with that setting. That one. Let's have a look here then. Right, so you've got a socket down there. 
I know for a fact there's cables running up there and on the other side there's a light there's another socket on the opposite side of there and a light switch about there on the other side so let me just swap my hands oops because I need me other okay so I'll use the other hand that's all okay hopefully that's okay start about here Okay, let's try it again. Green. Something. It's really close as well. There's electrical wire. I definitely know 100% there's two wires. And also I've got uh, just about there on the other side of the alarm box. But do you see how it's picking up all the time? And it's consistent. I'm going up. Why is there somewhere? Yeah. Okay. And obviously the wire runs down as well for that socket. Oh, sorry, you know the socket, it doesn't, it doesn't run down. But on the other side, it might be picking up. Uh, I'll swap my hands again. It might be picking up the. Uh, what am I thinking of? It might be picking up the, the obviously the wire on the other side. So anyway, we've got a nice socket here. Uh, should only be one wire going up on the other side. There's nothing. Yeah, that's me in that wire. which needs painting. Next time I get the paint out, that's getting covered in. That's going to my uh, that box, and it goes up and along, and I get that'll get painted. So there's no wires there, so I can, we'll do this first, and then I'll try to detect it because it's over penetrating, I think. So and it's only a single skin, right? So there's a green. Right, we're on brick because these are breeze blocks and brick. A mixture, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, these are brick, I think. I'm not sure. This house was built uh, in the 50s. Uh, so, it's, uh, so there's... What I like about it, guys, it's like, I trust that. Even if it's not, just say, for instance, it's not electrical wire, which it is. But let's just say it was something. That, then I know I can't do that. But in this case, it's, it's working great. There's a centre. I should have to go up and keep that centre if I come off. Because I know it goes all the way up uh, to the joist and then it runs along under the under the uh, thing back to that electric consumer unit that's down there. Uh, so you know that's working. Pretty much just the same now. Uh, let's just try. There's my dog there. Nosy. Two of them. It's terrifying in case someone comes to the door and the miss. <laughs> Who's that at the door? Who's it? Right, back to this. So you put it on. I mean, I've never the instructions. I've just gone. By what it feels, and it just it does it like a like a bit of a check, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's over penetrating with the radar, and then saying, "Oh, this was say like eight inches thick." So what I'll do is I'll only go down this far. I'm not sure. I don't really know. Anyway, we'll come across. Now it's found something. That's where the cable is. But it can't detect the cable; it just detects something, which is pretty cool. I'll fix that. There's the thickness. Yeah, there's the size of that. So yeah, uh, so you could, if you're only going to go in an inch or two, you're probably okay. Uh, and the depth of that cable is probably only uh, just short of the plaster. That's how they used to do it. And they've used to... There you go, look, look at the rings, really close. So it's probably only like an inch deep, uh, below, not even that. 
So let's just see if we can follow that wire off. Something there. I think it's probably. Is that in the middle? Oh no, it's over the side. So I don't think I, I waited till it went off. Right, that's better. So there's something there and something there. So that's about where it's at. I think that's. Yeah, that's picking up something there. Yeah, it's lost it again. There it is again. It's coming over, so <laughs> looks like the, it's not going up. Oh, no, it's about right. It's about right. I've lost it again. And, uh, anyway. That's working. What I'm going to do is, uh, I mean, the rest of it is just going to be the same, guys. So, your thoughts on this then? Absolutely fantastic. Nice piece of kit, uh, which is going to add to fault finding and find cables, trunk and water pipes, things like that. I've never tried it on any of them. I'll probably go in the, in the bathroom and try to find uh, some water pipes. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, anyway, guys, any comments, leave below. Leave us a like, leave us a sub, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.